Here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo and Norris, Leclerc, Sainz, Vettel and Lance Stroll, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen and Mick Schumacher. Giovinazzi, Mazepin, Scott and Pierre Gasly. Russell and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. One, two, three, four, five. Are out and it's underway. Fantastic start from both Mercedes drivers as they get off cleanly off the starting grid, and now they are looking pretty feisty in this first lap. We had to uh, Scott William now getting overtaken by the oh, what an overtake! Take overtaken three, four cars. There seemed to be some contact there with Schumacher in the Haas, but it looks like they are looking feisty behind him. On track, resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Good information from his engineer there. Scott William is in 14th place, but it's about to get overtaken. Is he about? to get overtaken by Mazepin in the Haas driver he has got overtook by DRS as well assisted of course from the uh, from the Russian but now he's gaining time on him he's trying to hide tuck him behind the Haas driver there as he tries to go on the inside he tries to go in the inside of the track there oh what an overtake what an overtake from Scott William. Overtaking in a place no one expects. And but he's coming back at him. Oh he's got a wide line there, Scott William. He dives in the inside. Is that a crash? Does he spin? Everything's okay, okay, okay. Gap to teammate behind is four point four seconds. Four point four seconds his teammate is behind Scott William. He is having a fantastic race here around the Austrian Grand Prix circuit in 21. As we head to the both Mercedes drivers, they got a lot to take here around this track. We have got a lot of action at the front. We have got 77 of Valtteri Bottas leading this Grand Prix, but getting chased right behind by the seven-time world champion, Lewis Hamilton. But can Lewis Hamilton gain the enough time on his teammate? Who can tell? Who can know? I don't know. But he is looking pretty good so far. Valtteri Bottas in the lead there. And uh, it is looking good for the Mercedes drivers. We head now towards the uh, further back where you got a train happening behind the McLaren there and you got a lot of cars waiting for an overtake not sure how long it is gonna be he's gonna try the inside line here the Aston Martin oh tangles with uh, with the McLaren driver tries to get alongside him is he he's got alongside him Vettel on Lando Norris I don't know, it's giving no thing, no uh, doo doos, but uh, they're side by side here going into this turn. Someone has to break early. Who is it? Lando or Vettel? They break similar time, and Vettel has to give way to the young Brit of Lando Norris around this track, but he is under pressure from the Ferrari. There as we head towards the leaders again now. And things are looking a bit tasty there. Both Mercedes followed by both uh, Red Bulls. But one of them 
is uh, going in the pits today. Yes, it is. It's Lewis Hamilton headed in the pits. As you see him here, needs to be a good stop here for Lewis. That is a decent stop for Lewis Hamilton. Fantastic stop for Lewis as he is exiting the pits now. His teammate Valtteri Bottas. As you can see, a Red Bull and a McLaren there. Right behind the uh, seven-time world champion there. So hopefully things can uh, things can progress in this race. As we head towards the lap now, that takes us to the race leader, Valtteri Bottas, into the pits. Hopefully he gets the undertake as a yellow flag comes out, apparently. Don't know what, what that's for, but as we find out here, three aside. Oh, no wonder it's a yellow flag. Oh, Scott William collides, but it goes straight in the pits for a cheeky pit stop here. That is why the yellow flag has come out, and that is why activity has ramped in that pit lane as the safety car comes out here. And Valtteri Bottas is. As you can see, leads this Grand Prix circuit. Now, this would not be easy for him as he is vulnerable to that slipstream from seven time world champion Lewis Hamilton. And uh, it is a gorgeous day here around the Austria Grand Prix circuit. Both Mercedes, as you see, ready and rearing to go for this safety car to enter the uh, pits and get this race back in the way you got remember there is no overtaking until the green flags safety car in this lap safety car in this lap for everyone and Scott William there as you see is looking to line up Mazepin in the Haas driver seat and can he do oh check your MFD for a new strategy he collide did he make damage yes he did he collided a little bit with Mazepin position immediately or we will be penalized there is no overtaking during the safety he's got, car period it, sorry to interrupt but he's got a uh, penalty here Scott William alongside Mazepin so what can happen here around okay, the this Grand Prix circuit as we get it's underway here Mazepin gone in the distance but now Samri and um, Scott William has been overtook. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. It's fantastic for uh, for Scott William, but uh, a bit of, lost a bit of ground there, Schumacher. But as we head further into this race, the safety car comes back out for some reason, and uh, Scott William heads to the pit lane. Is going, yes, he is. He's going in the pits here to serve his penalty while the safety car is out. And uh, that's a bit of clever work there from Scott William. But uh, he won't be the only one in the pits, as you see. Schumacher, Giovinazzi ahead of him are also in the pit lane. So, as we head to the pits, uh, Scott William is waiting for his time penalty to go. As he does, he is getting a front wing fixed and he is getting sent out Complete. on Go new tyres here around this uh, Austria okay, Grand Prix circuit. Clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Dangerous driver? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are of course under safety car rules which, is me which means there's a safety car there uh, until the Drop leader picks speed, up the safety car. Too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Unless the leader catches up with the safety car, things cannot be uh, things cannot be good. Especially for Scott Willem, who's still got to serve that penalty. By the way, uh, five seconds now, not ten. But uh, yeah, this is damage. The bodywork's taken a few scrapes. Try not to make it any worse. This is a damaging result for Scott William here around this Austria Grand Prix circuit, Grand Prix in 2021. But uh, yeah, as you see, we have got nothing ahead of us in the uh, track as Scott William heads back into the pits for his another five second penalty, which he has to serve, and uh, this will send him right back. To a point he could be overlapped here, but 
let's find out anyway because Scott William needs to uh, make it a good pit stop here even though it can't be worked they can't work on the car but five seconds is up they change the tyres anyway for another set of softs it looks like so uh, things don't look that, that was our last good no more pit stops. as you go as he exited the pits he is currently 31 seconds behind Mick Schumacher in this race and uh, things are looking bleak for Scott William in this Grand Prix as it goes a bit wide there but uh, yeah we head to the Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas as it looks like that is it for the race Valtteri Bottas collects the points in first position and that is that for the Austria Grand Prix as Scott William limps across the line here last place and that has been another poor forming from the uh, from the Welshman Scott William but I will leave you to Crofty and thank you for watching subscribe like comment and share and I'll see you next time here in Austria and a truly magnificent drive to hang on and take the win To the ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.